Flacknix Core RPKI. I will be very fast because I won't explain once again what RPKI is. What is RPKI in one slide? I won't repeat it. But I do want to mention something that maybe is not w so well known except for the Brazilian community where they use it a lot and there's a difference between the hosted RPKI and the delegated RPKI. Those that have RPKI in LACNIC and use it through my uh, me LACNIC, all of them use the hosted uh, uh, version uh, you, because LACNIC is in charge of the cryptographic storing uh, uh, keys and uh, certifications and uh, certificates and you only have are in charge of the ROAs in a word interface that's easy it's adequate for most it might not be so adequate for large organizations that need uh, to have it under the control and that's the delegated RPKI model it, it looks a bit like the DNS uh, delegation you can um, do something like a pointer as a and say, well, all the certificates that correspond to these uh, uh, blocks really have to be looked at a certifying authority that is here, and that can be extended just as in the DNS. Uh, the protocols are different, but the concept is the same. What else? So what I just said, but this is a sketch. And uh, I wanted to stop a bit. Well, we could talk uh, much more because in my view, this is very interesting. It's transmitting more information of how this uh, RPKI is implemented. It's very complex. As a matter of fact, Oscar yesterday in his presentation mentioned some of these things. He had a slide on the migration of RPKI. And any system you may imagine for RPKI has three layers, essentially. They have a core that is, uh, as a matter of fact, it's the most complex part that has more complexity, that is in charge of processing cryptography. It generates all the objects uh, that go in an RPKI repository. And uh, normally, these cores do not have an interface for humans. They operate through APIs uh, or I. So usually, although it's not mandatory, all of us, well, this is one of the uh, learnings. Uh, well, this is what you enter a system in early stages. That uh, middle, medium layer, the, this uh, validation of the material, well, we learned this out of experience. The RPKI repository is a set of objects that is smaller uh, files, just a few k, uh, k that with uh, characteristics. It's signed and it has a hash that is uh, kept in another file. Those hashes are compared against each other and they must all a match for the repository to be valid. And we are speaking of several thousands of those uh, files that we generate quite with ha quite a high frequency. So the nature of any um, IT system is that there may be uh, fails and one of those hash may be wrong. That's important. So we learned, and that was a painful le lesson, that it's worth having a um, mid middle part for to pre-check what you will uh, publish. And then we have the front ends. So you imagine what a front end is. We get uh, the set of things that we know are right and we publish this to the world. And the other side of the data line, we have the clients of all this. The clients have their own complexity. They also save caches. There are many analogies with DNS. If you don't know so much about RPKI, there are many analogies and one of the most delicate things when you change the RPKI system is to preserve the integrity of the uh, cache of the clients that were already running. That is, usually when you manage to publish a, an RPK a repository that is uh, um, uh, um, uh, a full, well, e the problem is when you drag changes in the cache where there are objects that are temporary um, uh, uh, invalid that get propagated and they are in the caches and their validators are clients that no, do not necessarily handle this the best way. Why? 
probably because we are uh, starting with this technology and we are still learning. The problem I described was uh, especially important five or six years ago. Now it has uh, disappeared almost, but it continues to be something that you need to have in, to bear in mind uh, as a matter of concern. LACNIX RPKI evolved uh, after many years. It's more than 15 years old since the first versions. And as all systems that were developed uh, in such a long time, we have acquired vices. And there are two sources for these vices. The first uh, developments of PKI that we did in LACNIC were before the documents were RFCs. They were still drafts. And as a matter of fact, it was done at the time because the RIRs were committed with the IETF, the IEB, probably to make an effort to try to start producing something, the running code of IETF somehow. At the time, as a matter of fact, it was even before I entered LACNIC that people were already working with for RPKI. We were donated a code by RIPI that made it possible for us to have a system that I think it was January the 1st, 2011, if I'm not uh, wrong. But I don't know whether there's anybody here, but the first ROAs were from Telecom Argentina. Is there anybody from Telecom Argentina here? No? Oh, it's a pity. But uh, did you used to work in telecom? Yes. Well, so the first or ROAs were from Telecom Argentina. A few years later, we we refactored the um, we um, made it uh, the code neater when uh, the portal of Milaknik was implemented because there were some performance issues that needed to be solved. Until then, the web interface to which uh, the uh, Laknik uh, members uh, created ROAs used a different thing. As, uh, the registry system was old. I think that either Ricardo or somebody working with Ricardo wrote, when Milaknik was created in a way, we took the interface, the old interface was eliminated and we created the web interface for Melaknik, for RPKI and Melaknik, so that people would uh, be in just one single system to make the operation easier. In 2019, we started with two new features that had been standardized in IETF. One was the implementation of the up down protocol to delegate. Um, and as a matter of fact, we implemented because it is the, w the way the uh, members of Brazil of the, uh, uh, receive services through deleg these delegations. And we also implemented uh, our RDP. And uh, we also implemented our RDP. That, is a, that was a recent mechanism to publish the RPKI object uh, through a uh, version from an HTTPS uh, version that was more, uh, more user friendly. And then we got to 2024. Really, we started to work in later 2022, where we considered that the old RPKI was uh, useless. And well, we actually, we decided that it had to be done again. So there we uh, created a variant. Instead of implementing it all from scratch, we incorporated a product, uh, an open source uh, our product, Krill, that uh, is uh, that uh, it was developed by uh, uh, the Dutch, um, uh, the, that is NL NL Labs, and it lacked uh, some. Uh, uh, functions, but and there, well, this is something that we could debate uh, longer. I think that all the organizations and the internet are highly dependent on open source uh, products. We use Linux, we use Bind, we run Unbound, etc. And I don't know to what extent we contribute, especially in our region. And there, as a matter of fact, there's a risk for the continuity of certain products. So, but here we contributed to Krill, we contributed what we need. Uh, it to implement something so we can use it uh, as we uh, use uh, um, with trust and we work very well with them. And here we are a couple of years later, we managed to uh, uh, start uh, producing with this. But this was not enough because Krill solves all the cryptography. That's 
a lot of work, super specialized, and we don't have the expertise you need. Imagine again the analogy with the DNS. You no longer uh, de uh, implement DNS. You just download Unbound uh, or Bind and you install it. But there was a lot of software that we had to develop because those are the ones that uh, that LACNIC is responsible for. The interfaces with me LACNIC and other LACNIC systems, the database of the registry, that of course those are things that we need to implement because they are typical of our business. Migration, actually, this is the fun part if you wish. Well, we we are quite stressed uh, when, with the invalidation of uh, the uh, caches of the clients that are running that super delicate. You have to be very careful about it. So we we conducted a bunch of uh, uh, tests to make sure it would work. We define a number of steps. We sent those steps to uh, the validators of the RPKI tools to confirm that the tools that uh, they produce behaved the way we really be believe they behave. As a matter of fact, in the process, we learned many things because some things were not what we sh thought should be a testing for the current complexity of uh, the software. We talked to some RPKI clients that didn't clearly understand how the product would uh, behave and we all learned. So we reached a configuration where finally the year uh, after two and a half years of work, this is what we managed to do to change the DNS registry. We had the uh, two systems running for two, several months, and when we were certain that we had tweaked all uh, the screws and knobs and covered all uh, the holes, uh, we uh, covered the DNS and uh, it worked. As a matter of fact, we received no comments. We um, organized a, a communication campaign in Laknage in uh, you, if you were in like if you're in Lucknow, you may have seen it in my maze and we didn't receive any comments and that was uh, precisely what we wanted we had to be transparent and we succeeded so what's coming now now we are more reassured we have a sustainable platform working with someone like Elnarska um, that uh, work with this that makes it easier when we have to introduce new features and I'm sure that you as a network of operators you'll come and ask for them. I wanted to finish with this slide to tell you what's coming, what's being discussed in IETF, what will we see in the near future. So I classified this into three uh, items. Whenever we talk of our PKI, we speak of ensuring origin. We sign the origin of the prefixes, but not the path. Signing the path is the next step. There are two strategies uh, that have been presented in recent times to ensure the path. I'm going to use, well, there's an extremist uh, uh, thing that uh, that uh, the BGP SEC that it wants it all to be uh, uh, secure, so it adds a, um, uh, the, the certificates for each step. For instance, each router has its own uh, certificate. And you remember the um, the the audit list of the autonomous uh, um, the systems that uh, go through the internet. The BGP SEC uh, is a complement to that, but it's, a, it's the same thing, but a chain of uh, signatures. So if an announcement went through AS1, AS2, AS3, AS4, AS the new attribute has signatures saying that uh, pass it from one to two is signed uh, and so on and so forth up to AS4. So the validation of the announcement is validating the origin plus the validation of that chain of signatures. Uh, that's what I told you. I estimate that everybody working with BGP may realize that implementing all that is complicated and succeeding in having all the routers work in the hardware of the routers that is not as powerful as a common P PC is complex. So BGP SEC has been defined quite some a number of years ago. It's only now beginning to become viable in terms of its implementation. In the middle, a proposal arose, which I think is the most appropriate one to ensure the pass, which is ASPA. ASPA. 
Oh, it's 6 p.m. The ASPA or SPM is security of the potential path. Because I have the certification of origin in the ROAS, we create objects that are called ASPAs. So my origin is this, and the next autonomous system is the following. I sign one further hop, and eventually I can sign another ASPA. Or and I sign hop, hop, another hop, and I do this in so far as I can do so. And eventually, if you pay attention, the way this would look like in the internet would be like a mesh that is closing and becoming narrower and narrower, so that I can cover everything. This is potential and partial security. Signed checklist is using RPKI to sign documents, for example, lowers and other issues such as key rotation. And this is the most important thing of what we have of here. Let me finish with the following. If you have any ideas, complaints, suggestions regarding RPKI or specific features, new features that you would like to incorporate in your organizations, please write to us. I'm one minute to pass my time. Thank you very much. Maria, or shall I close?